I love your floors. We love them too, but there is one problem with the floors. It's right here, right at this step. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. This joint between the transition of the flooring and the stepping off point. It's really a bad joint. Let me explain to you how wood moves. It actually expands and contracts over its width. So your floor is going to go this way, the nosing is going to go this way. So when it's dry out, this board could shrink and this joint could open up. Well, it's opened up a little bit, but I can also see that they did a real lousy job cutting the flooring where the nosings met. So what we need to do is see if we can straighten that out. All right, Kate, I've got all the tools. I set up a table so we have a little workstation here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the nails underneath that nosing so we can take that out. Because right. we're going to need some eye protection and ear protection, it's going to get noisy. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to cut the nails from under the board with a reciprocating saw, but the first thing I have to do is make a little room for the blade. So I'm just going to wedge it up a little bit with a chisel. Pick it up. So now I'm going to take the saw blade, push it in there, and cut the nails. Right now, I'll just pry it up. There you go. Just bend that right over. Watch out for the nails underneath. OK, let's take a look at the board, see what we have. All right, now when I look at the board, I can see this construction adhesive right here, how thick it is. So it dried before the board was pushed down tight. That's why the top of the board was higher than your floorboards. And I see the edge right here. You can see all this filler that was put on here. The board itself looks like it could be straight, but they added filler in here for the uneven cuts of your floorboards. So let's pull out all these nails, see if we can get rid of this glue and straighten it out. All right. Okay. Now I gotta get that glue off of there. All right, let's see how the board fits now that we've cleaned up all the filler. Look at how bad that joint is right there. Yeah. They cut the ends of these floorboards crooked where it met the straight edge. So what we need to do is straighten them all out. So I'm going to take a straight edge, I'm going to lay it on the floor, and I'm going to go to the widest point of this gap right here and make it even all the way down. So now when we take a saw and cut off all the boards, they'll all be straight and this should be tight. All right, so now I've straightened out the cut all the way down, except for where I hit the wall right here at the front of the saw. So this little bit right here, I have to do by hand. Now the other thing that I had to do is I actually had to cut a little bit off the back side of this horn. This is an extension that it goes past the baseboard. If we didn't remove that, we wouldn't be able to push the board in. Okay. All right, so now I'll put it down. Push it up tight, and now we have a nice tight joint. Wow, that looks a lot better. Okay, so now we want it, we've got a nice tight joint, but we don't want it to open up, and we want to make sure that it stays flat. To do that, I'm going to use these right here. This is actually a floating tenon. To install these, I have to put a little mortise in the board and another one into the floor. Once we glue them in there, that will hold the board nice and tight. To make sure all the tenons line up, in the nosing and in the floorboards, I'm going to put a reference line on each. One on the floorboard, one on the nosing.
That's good. Okay, that one. Good. All right, Kate, I've got some construction adhesive down. I'm going to put some more white glue on over here, and then you can give me that piece, and we can slide it into position. All right. So now what I'm going to do is work it right in, and I'll tap it in as we go down. Well, there you go, Kate. What do you think? I love it. It looks so much better. I can't believe it. And it wasn't even that hard to do. It wasn't that hard to do. Just think if they had only done it right the first time, I wouldn't have had to do that. But I'm so glad you came over anyway. Well, thanks for the help. Thanks, Tommy. Mm -hmm.